Mo Gabba was a great Baltimore sports fan. As the Orioles finished up their homestand, they made today Mo Gabba Day. WMR2 News' Don Harrison talked with Mo's mom about just before she threw out the first pitch. Mo Gabba was an adopted son of the Orioles. He is a super fan of Baltimore sports. He suffered through four bouts of cancer. He was first diagnosed at nine years old and soon lost his sight. He may have had problems with his eyes, but his heart was bigger than most. It was hard not to be motivated by his positive and never give up attitude. Today, the Orioles made it the inaugural Mo Gabba Day at the yard. He would be, he would be so excited. It, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't be able to fathom how big it is. For him, he's like, oh, for me, what I did, what did I do? I didn't do anything. But little did he know, he'd done so much to help everyone, and he didn't even realize it. His mother was invited to throw out the first pitch to no other than Trey Mancini. Mo was Trey's biggest fan, and Mancini was Mo's biggest fan as well. When I'm at work, I'm thinking he's asleep, but like he loves listening to the radio, he loves sports, and he just fell in love with, with Baltimore sports and fell in love with the Orioles. Mo was loved by fans as well. I... Today is the second anniversary of his death. That made Mo Gabba Day even more special. I'm so proud. So proud of him. And I wish he was here to see it. I really wish he was here to see it. Mom can take solace in knowing that Mo may not have been here today, but his memory was here in the hearts of all the fans and all the players. In Camden Yards, Don Harrison, WMAR 2 News. Ray Mancini hit a pretty big home run today. That was awesome. Today was the second anniversary of Moe's death. And again, he two run in the park and a home run today. So it was a, a great, nay, great day for Trey Mancini, the Orioles, and Moe Gabba's family.